Hi everyone, it's Miley from Dragon Nation. Today we are going to be working on Peril the Skywing. So, you will need approximately 600 of the lava red, which is going to be your main body color, about 100 to 200 of the bur burgundy. <laughs> Uh, sorry if I, later in the video, if I call it Burgundy, uh, it's a habit that I've been trying to work on. And then you will need about 400 of the Sun Kiss, and, um, you'll need two Metallic Blue, or the, um, Metallic Ocean Blue for her eyes, and that just gives it a bolder appearance and you will need about 50 black and two white so you will also need uh, either holding bands or I like to put them on holding hooks which is if you do holding hooks you'll need one longer hook and if you need if you're doing um, holding bands you'll need one that's not one of the four colors that we're using on this dragon. So let's get started on her wings. Oh, and don't forget that if you want to, you can <coughs> oil your bands with silicone oil from the Rainbow Loom site. So let's get started on <coughs> Mm. Let's get started on the wings. Um, you're going to be taking two bands and for a whole thing, unless I say three or a double looped. So you're just going to take two bands and you're going to go down all the way. And if you've seen my tsunami video, the wing is a little bit different. It's wider because she's a sky wing. So it's just a tad bit <coughs> wider. So, yeah. <coughs> Jeez. Um, now, I'm going to be going down this row, down all the way except for one less. And that just gives it the um, pointed effect. Then you're going to go down all the way except for two less than the bottom. So it's just going at an angle.
If you put silicone oil on your bands and it's still really wet, <clears throat> what you can do, <clears throat> geez, um, what you can do is you can let it sit for a couple minutes or however long you want to, and it'll dry a little bit more, so it's just a e it's easier to work with. So now, same thing on this row, and this is the last row before we're doing the um, outward effect. So you're, you're going down all the way, but you're going one less each time. And this is all two bands, in case you missed that in the beginning. So now we're going to be making the um, the main part of the wing where the claws are going to be attached, right here. So you're going to take two, go outward like that, take two more, go outward. And then you're just going to go down, down, like that. And then you're going to go inward. So now we're going to go down here, and then we're going to go inward to the end. So, just taking two, this whole thing. And you want to make sure that this band right here is underneath this one, and this band is over top of this one. It just gives it a better look, and it keeps the bands nice and tight. So this is what your room should look like. So now that you've put all your bands on the room, we're going to be making the claws. So if you've seen my tsunami video, the, the claws are exactly the same. You're just going to be taking, <clears throat> you're going to be taking some black and you're going to make a cap band around your hook of four loops. And you're going to double loop and pull that cap band on to the double looped. And then you're going to take two lava red and pull that claw onto the two lava red. And you're going to need to make a total of four of these. So you'll need to make three more. And you're just going to wrap it around this peg, this peg, this peg. And then you can put it on a holding hook or a holding peg, whichever one you prefer. So I'm going to go and make my other three. And you can make this fourth one later when we make the second part of the wing. 
but I'm just going to make mine now. Ow. Um, <laughs> and I'm just going to wrap it around a peg so that it doesn't come undone or I'm gonna, you can also just set it somewhere, but I'm gonna wrap it around a peg so that I remember to attach it and that I don't lose it. So now we're going to be making the end claw and the top claw. I don't really know what to call it, but for the top claw, you're going to take four black, you're going to make a cap band, you're going to double loop one, wrap it back around, double loop another, Pull it on, and one more, so that it, it should be a cap band, and then three double loops. So now we're going to take three of the lava red, and we're going to attach it on the other side of the loom that should be across from oop, that's not on okay I'll put it back um so like that Just one loop was not on, never mind. So now we're going to be making the end claw. You can take three black. You're going to make a cap band of four loops. Whenever I say make a cap band, it's always gonna be four loops. And you're gonna pull it onto a double loop and one more double loop. And then you're going to take three red Three red, and you're going to wrap it around the bottom peg right here. So it should look like this. And now we're going to be putting on a cross bands. So that's going to be your sun kiss. You're done with the black, so you can move that out of the way for right now. All right, so now we're going to be putting on the across bands. And so now we're going to take two and you're gonna just put it across these three. You're gonna take one, double loop it, put it across this one, these two. So this one should be a double loop. These should be two bands. Then two more bands, stretch it across the four pegs. And then the three, for the five here, you're going to stretch it across three and three. And that's just because it gives her wing, like, it makes it larger and more sky wing-ish. <laughs> and then you're going to stretch across four pegs here, three pegs here. three pegs here, four pegs down here. So you're probably starting to notice a pattern. So it should go three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, all the way up until you're done. And then you'll just fill it in as you go, like down here. <coughs> But I'm just going to go all the way up for mine. And if you didn't really understand that before, I mean that you are 
putting four here and then three here, three across three pigs here, across four pigs here, across four pigs here, across three pigs here. So it's kind of like a little pattern that you should be doing with your cross bands. And then on the fives, it should be three and three. So this is what your loom should look like. Now let's get into hooking. So you're going to dig down under the uh, claw and you're going to pull it up. Make sure that all of the loops stay on the peg. <clears throat> then you're gonna just follow. You don't need your colors anymore, except for you do need burgundy for this. You wanna be sure that you grab the correct loops and that you don't grab the um, these bands and loop them over here. So then you're just gonna dig down. And you won't need your burgundy to attach on any of the, um, any on the sun kiss. You'll just need it to attach some like beads on the red. And that just gives her more of a um, peril look on her wings. <laughs> and if you forgot to say this earlier, but if you want to do sky, which is her uh, spoiler alert twin, um, you can just use replacement colors that I will state in the description, but you would be replacing um, the red with like a tannish. I don't know if I'm gonna make a video for him yet. I might, but if I do, it's just gonna be so similar to Peril. It will actually probably be the exact same as Peril except for the colors. So, you're just going to loom up, and you want to be careful on the across bands where it meets at, like, two right here. You want to dig down all the way. I like to pull my across bands back with my finger as I'm going. It just makes it easier for me, but I can't really do that when it's, uh, when there's two across bands meeting. So then you're just gonna loom up this one as well. And when you get to the red, um, I'm going to attach some beads. You don't have to, it's optional if you don't want to, but it just gives it a bit more of like a, like a look of what her book cover is. So, I need to look back on Peril because I don't know exactly where I put them. Okay, so they're mostly going to be attached when we make the second part of the wing, but we're just going to loom up to the claw. And we're going to, if I call them beads, it's literally just a cat band. So then we're going to, once we get to the claw, we're going to loom up one. Then we're gonna make one cat band of burgundy and it's four loops. And you're just gonna slide that on as we loom it onto there and then you're just going to loom it up so now we're going to be taking it off the loom 
so you can pull it up gently with your hook or you can yank it off it doesn't really matter these bands should be pretty strong because they're pretty elastic they're pretty easy to work with which is why i think i love making peril so much i also just love her colors So after I get all the claws off, I'll probably just yank it off the loom. So I just put my hook through these ends. If you want, you can um, holding band it. So this is what your wing should look like. It's wider than your average wing. And it should have one bead on it right there. But... If it looks like this, it should look good. And you might notice that there's like some bands up here that are, that seem like they're stretched out. You can just stretch the wing a little bit and they should even out. Otherwise you can like tuck them in as you wire it. All right, so let's get started on the second half of the wing. So you're going to need all three of your colors. Oop. And now we're just gonna set it up where you're gonna go down six with the red, or yeah, the red. And now, and then once you're done with the red, you're going to, you're going to take your sun kiss and you're going to go at, you're going to go down <clears throat> and at an angle and that should be the fifth peg out. And then you're just gonna go straight down all the way for six times on each row. Sorry about that, I just dropped a band in my wing, it was bugging me. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to put our claw that we put on a holding thing. It should be in the middle of these five pegs. So it should go five, three, and then there should be one in the middle. And then you're just gonna take two and you're just gonna stretch it across the four Sorry about that. <laughs> and then when you get up here, you're just gonna go three and three. It's over three pegs, it's still just two rubber bands. So now we're going to attach the big part of the wing. 
so you're just going to take two of the loops and so then you should have one of the so you should have one of the sides on your hook still and this is how I do it otherwise you can just put all the loops on and take off the top loops but you're just going to um, put the first loops on and put two rubber bands through it and I have mine at like an angle right now right up here so that I can find it easily without pulling the wrong bands so then once you're done if you have a different way that works for you you can do that instead but um this is how I like to do it so you should have just a, a cross band underneath the first two loops of your wing attached so now you're just going to loom up and you want to make sure that you don't forget okay one sec i'm sorry i had a a cross band from the previous part of the wing in when i was hooking so then you just <clears throat> you want to make sure that you attach the uh dew claw because it does have a big pretty big part in the wing right here so then you're just going to loom up the sun kiss again just regularly and you're going to then we're going to attach some burgundy on the red And if for whatever reason you drop your bands and they come undone like that, you can just dig down, make sure that you're through all the loops, and then you can go over, pull it, and that's just how you would <coughs> re-loom it if it were to fall. Yeah. So... Once you're done with the sun kiss, we're going to be attaching some burgundy, um, just cap bands. So you're going to take a burgundy and you're gonna <clears throat> wrap it around creating four loops. And you're just gonna do that three times and you're going to go down, pull the first bead on, then you're going to loom up one, and then these four left, you're going to attach beads on. So you're just gonna pull a bead on to each one of the loops. And if you want, you can also attach them on the outside, but that part is optional. That's not what I'm doing. So this will be on the inside of your dragon's wings. Oops. Like this. So when she opens her wings, it'll look like that. But if you want to, you can put it on the inner side by just putting it on before you loom and before you place it on the loom just like you're just gonna like if you were to do it on the outside you would just pull a bead on to the this loop before you loom it not
how we're doing it. Sorry if that was confusing. <laughs> so now you have a finished wing and you're just going to take your holding hook or your holding bands and go through all the loops. And you can just stretch out the end because your three bands that you did here will probably look a little bit strange just because, I mean, it's three instead of five or four loops. So this is what your wing should look like. And now let's get on to weaving. So for this, you will only be needing your thread, not your burgundy or your sunkiss, and you won't need your loom. You will just need <clears throat> your hook and your red. So you're going to go on the back, which should be the side without the beads. You're going to go back and you're going to pull up your top claw and you're just going to put your hook through that loop so your hook head should be looking like this and it should be on the side that your beads are on so then you're just going to take two bands pull it through and place it back in and you'll do this straight down all the way down until you reach your first claw. And you're just going straight down for this one. So this one's probably the simplest of the three on this part. And you're just gonna go down like that all the way. until you reach this claw right here. And then when you reach this claw, you're just gonna put your hook through like that. So now you're gonna pull the claw up and over the loop. Then you're going to pull the bottom part up and over so that it looks like that, so that you should have two loops on and it should kind of slip knot almost on the hook. Then you're going to pull the claw through like that. So it should look like that. Then you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna flip it over. You're gonna put your hook through. And you're going to take two more bands. And you're gonna go at an angle now. So you're gonna push and put your hook through so that it looks like almost a little V with the other one. Then you're gonna take two more bands and you're going to go straight down. And then you can push and pull the rubber bands to kind of go into like a angle shape, but then you're going to take two more and you're gonna go then at an angle again. And then for the rest of this, you're just gonna go straight down on this side. It just looks nicer if you always have them going the same way and you're just gonna do the same thing as before you're gonna pull 
everything on to the two loops. So then it should look like two loops over top of the claws. That just makes it look nicer because if you flip it over, it should look like a little bit of a slip knot on the back. So then you're just gonna flip it over again, put your hook through, and now this whole one should be at an angle, except for one loop. And you wanna make sure that you're not going through any of these like teardrop ones because it'll just look better if you don't. So then you're gonna go and angle again. Then again. There will be one straight down. You can do it whenever or wherever on the wing that you want through this whole thing. You're just gonna go at an angle and it just gives it that webbed wing look. And then one more loop. So then that's what it should look like. And you'll just pull it up again, pull it over again, and wrap it around the claw. So that's what it should look like. Now we're going to do this bottom part. It's going to be exactly the same as this, except for you'll want to make sure that the spot that you're putting your hook through is straight above this claw. So you're going to go through, your head of your hook should be on the side of the beads. Oops. And you want to make sure that you have both rubber bands through because it'll just look better if you have two instead of one. And you're just going to go straight down, <laughs> straight, straight down like you did on the first part. but it'll be much quicker because it's way shorter. You wanna make sure you go through all four loops of the claw. You'll pull it over, then you'll come back, pull the back one over, and pull the last one over the claw like that. So that's what your wing should look like when you're done. It should have the curves over top and the slip knot looking ones on the bottom. So you're done with your first wing. Now you'll need to go make your second one. So you'll need to set up your loom like this, um, and this is just like the other one except for opposite, so we are just gonna continue what we did before, and you're just gonna go diagonally, I think that's what you said, it and it's just two bands for the whole thing, just like the last one, all the way down. Well, not all the way, but down four times. Then go in. Then go down here. And you just, this is exactly like the other wing, so, except for on the other side. There we go. 
so then you'll need to go and make your claws which is your black and your red and so just like before it's for the end claw it's total of three bands Two double loop, one cap. And you'll just wrap it around this bottom peg. And then you'll take four, cap it off, and then do three double loops. wrap it around this peg and you'll want to make sure that all of the loops are on and then you're gonna make four of the um, smaller ones which is a cap band and one double loop and you're gonna do that four times So then you're just gonna take two red and pull it onto two red. And wrap it around these pegs. So these two, just like the other wing, had three bands, and this one just has two. So now we're going to put on the across bands, which is going to be your sun kiss orange. And you're just going to take um, two and you're just going to go across these here. Oh, and you'll want to take one and double loop and put it across those. So then you're just going to follow the... Um, pattern that I told you about in the beginning of three pegs across and then four pegs across three and then four and you don't have to do the pattern you can just do all four on the top and three on the bottom but I do it this way, so yeah. You want to do it whatever way you did the other wing, except for opposite, which would be if you did it like this, you would be doing it the way I am doing it right now.
So now we're just gonna loom regularly and we're also going to be attaching a spot right there for the wing. So then you're just gonna loom sun kiss regularly. All the way up. If you haven't read the books, um, the reason the rubber bands that we are using are gold laced, which is what I just call these dual layered bands, um, it's because she was born with too much fire and she Basically anything she touches lights on fire. So that's why we're doing gold lace bands. The, um, I forgot to say, I think in the beginning, the dots are optional, so if you don't want to do them, or if you accidentally, um, forgot to do one, it doesn't matter that much, because it's, it's not, it's not a big deal. Um... One of my bands were overlaying. So now we're going to loom up to here. And then we're going to attach a burgundy spot or burgundy. Alright, so now we're going to attach a cap band, so it's just four loops, and then so it should look like that with one spot there. Now we're going to pull it off the loom. So I just put all of the loops on my hook and then I usually just pull it off sometimes though I do need to use like my fingers or a hook to keep the bands in order because the uh, claws sometimes don't want to come off the loom so they end up getting out of order, but it's a pretty easy fix if yours does end up doing that, which I'll show you how to fix in a minute. Mm, there we go. So, if one of your claws does end up on the outside for whatever reason, so that it looks like this, it is not a big deal. You just lift up this loop right here, and you push or pull it back under. You can use a hook if you like, but that's just how you would fix it if it 
ended up being like that because sometimes mine do come up and out of the loops that they're supposed to it's not a big deal it's a pretty easy fix all right so now you're gonna have to set up your loom like this for the second part of the wing and we are going to attach the first part down here you're going to just do the same thing you did for the other one you're just going to put the two loops down and put them on like that and then just do that all the way over and you're just gonna keep going down all the way oops and oh my fingers don't want to cooperate and so then it should look like that with a crossband underneath and then you're just going to stretch them across and don't forget to add your fourth claw that I still have to make. So you're just going to make a small claw real quick. And then you're just going to put a, a cross band over top of it for two bands. So then you can just loom the sun kiss up all the way till it ends. Um, and then we will attach the spots to the wing. All right, so now we're going to attach the spots and we're going to be attaching a total of five. So if your hook is big enough, mine is not, uh, you can make all five cap bands on your hook, but I'm just going to make three for now and then attach them on, which will be one down here and then you'll loom up one and attach it. Ugh, this doesn't want to go on. And then you'll loom up one and attach it on. And then you'll attach one on each one of them. So I will need to grab some more burgundy. Sorry, burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> I and then when you are done you're just going to put it on your holding hook or holding bands and then you have two wings so these bands don't want to go on all right so then last one So now we're going to be putting it on our holding whatever you're using. I'm gonna put it on my hook, but if you're using holding bands, then you can do that instead. So I'm just going to go through all the loops. And so when you have your wings, you should have spots 
So this should be your first wing, which is the one that I webbed with you. You should have no spots on this side, but spots on this side. It just makes it to where you have one left wing and one right wing, which will matter later on.